Hi, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Hi. How, How are you? you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And you? Good. Good. I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. How, how was your weekend? Oh, my weekend was really, really great because and Monday I come, I came back to the Cameroon. I went for, I went for four years and that was really Four funny. years? Four, four, four days, I'm sorry. Four okay, years. Four. I was like, wow, oh, sorry. <laughs> that's a very long vacation, I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry for... <laughs> That'd be a great vacation. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm yeah. Sorry for that. Okay. Wow. That sounds okay. good. Um and when when did you go? And uh, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Oh nice. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. That so was really Thursday, really. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's yeah. that's insane. But the food was so horrible, so horrible. freaking horrible, horrible. Wait. Oh my god! Oh, why? Oh my god! I didn't like it. I don't know. The flavor was um so bad. Uh huh. Really, really bad. So really? and also, the food had a lot of flight around the I don't know the name. But in a buffet has a bit like kitchen, uh -huh. and that kitchen was really, really dirty. Really? Oh my yeah. goodness! I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, and oh my god, the food was really horrible, <laughs> but so freaking horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you had that bad experience. But yeah. Well, you know, not everything can be perfect, right? Yeah, and how was your and how was your weekend? How was your um, weekend? it was a busy weekend, mm. very busy weekend. Um, but um, it, but it was it was good. I mean, um, lots of things to do, and just uh, wrapping up a few things. You know, these are the last days of of classes uh, because uh, we. You know, we, we have a little bit of vacation in December. So, it, you know, just um, finishing off the last parts of, of the classes and everything. So it's okay, it's, it's not too bad. You know, at least yeah. uh, very soon I'll be having vacation, <laughs> or at least uh, for, <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah, so, uh, well, it's just me there, right? Sorry? It's me? It's only me in this class or, or? Yeah, I don't know what's happened to the others. I'm actually gonna put a little, uh, 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 um, a message telling them that we're waiting for them. Okay. Okay, so hopefully uh, they will remember. Sometimes people just forget about um, the time and they just not uh, get distracted with other things. And so maybe with this reminder, everybody will remember that they yeah. gotta be in class. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Could be, yeah. All right, just give me one second, Carlos. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, okay, it's fine.
So maybe, um, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how many people actually saw it. <laughs> anyway, um, how have you finished uh, the midterm? What is it, mature? The midterm, have you finished the midterm? Oh no, I no? no, I have to do that. What happened? And you I have sort pro uh, no, I have some problem. Uh huh. But I resolved that problem in some in I don't remember the part, but I I can understand that. What what? Sorry, which one? Did you say that you couldn't understand? Yeah, I couldn't understand. Which one? Mm, was, let me see, please. I think was, mm, I don't remember the part, but when I have to do, uh, oh my God, was a reader or preferring that part, I have some problems because I didn't know what I have to, put there. Yeah. So you said the reading part. Did you say that, Carlos? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's part. Just give me a moment while I find it right now, okay? I'm looking for it. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, it's not loading for some reason. <sighs> Let me try it again. Okay. Welcome, Rafael. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Good. How are you? Good, good. I was just um, checking some answers there from the, the midterm that um, Carlos was having problems with. Um, which one did you say, Carlos? Which number? Sorry, I can hear you. Which one did which number did you say that you were having problems with? Uh, with three point four technology check. Is that far? Oh, okay. So it's not from the midterm. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, wait a second. I thought I had understood that it was from the midterm. So just give me one second. Okay, so it's 3.4, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that part of the platform. Mm -hmm. 3.4, okay. Just give me one second. 3.4. Okay, so Rafael, I understand that you're finished, right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So you're, I mean, finish the midterm at least, right? So yeah, yeah. you're on section four, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, let's see. So, give me a moment.
My goodness, it's not, it doesn't want to load. Okay, well, in the meantime, while it's loading. Um, okay, so while, while it's loading, what I wanted to know was, um, you guys, uh, well, last class, we were looking at using by plus a gerund to talk about how things are done, right? Okay. Uh, so what I want you to do is uh, right now, while I get this thing to load, hello, Josue, welcome. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Diana. Oh, Diana's still connected. Welcome, Diana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Um, so while I'm trying to connect this thing, um, what we're going to do is we're going to work in pairs. And I'd like you guys to um, discuss with your partner uh, what are some of the ways that you can improve your English, okay, using by plus a gerund, okay, to give an example, you can improve your vocabulary by writing down all the new words that you learn um, in a notebook, for example. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to give your partner ideas on how to improve their English uh, using the word by and a gerund. Okay, so I'm right now, I'm going to um, get you guys to work in, um, in pairs. Um, we're probably going to have, we're probably going to have, well, we're going to have one group of three. Okay, and go ahead. Hi Pamela, are you are you there? Pamela, are you there? Pamela? Pamela Gomez? Are you there, Pamela? Hello, Pamela. Maybe you're having trouble with your internet. Pamela, are you there? Hi, Pamela, can you hear me? One. Uh, you could improve your okay. listening skills by listening music in English. Okay. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> I have a question. All right. What is that? Um, yeah. 
Um, I was uh, wondering if I had to put the proposition two after listen because I've always seen that with that verb we use always we put always the preposition. Um, so, but um, I don't know if I'm mistaken or I gotta do it always when I when I'm going to use that verb. Yes, the answer okay. is. Um, 80% of the time you'll put the word of the preposition to unless you're giving for example an um like a what's it called um an order like if you just say for example listen right okay. but if you you have to always say listen to me right uh, yeah. or listen to the radio listen to um the music blah 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 listen to the bird so it's always two unless you're giving uh, an order to simply. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to omit it when I'm going to give an order. That's right. If you're going to, um, yeah, if you're just going to give an order, you can omit it. Now, um, okay. unless the word lis listen is an, is a, an adjective, for example, um, listening skills right in this in like you you have it here listening yeah. skills in this case Listen listening is not is not an, a verb in this case it's an adjective yeah. so okay. then you wouldn't say listening to skills right in that oh. case no it's just not only if it's a verb okay then does that make yeah. sense cool. yeah okay okay um so what other can we can can we sorry um write um What do you think, Jose? Um, Maybe I, by I, watching I, movies also, right? Yeah, I I learned a lot of vocabulary by watching yes, movies. I think um, we can also improve our... ...could say the same things like, for example, as I told you before, if I can use, you can improve your English reading and listening to music, or I have to say like, you can improve your English by reading books and English. So can you understand me? Yeah, uh, so yeah. there so are- I don't know. That's my question. Mm, there are many, many, many ways to say whatever you want. Uh, for example, I I learn or yeah or I improve my English um, reading blah blah blah. But in this moment, we have to use by plus urine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so thank you for that. And um, that was confused to me, but right now I care. So thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but right now I get it. So yeah, how was your weekend? Oh, we oh we try again. Oh, I we must try again the the how can you improve your English? What do you think about that? Um, I think that I have another another sentence. Okay. Um, so you can improve your English by um, writing um, sentence and uh, and making mistakes. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, or I like that idea, Diana. I like the fact that um, you know it's it's yeah. a, a, that you know you you are trying to um, you know you're saying yeah we can you can make uh, mistakes and and that will be okay right that's the important thing mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah very good on my own I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, and you learn by by making mistakes to learn. Yeah. Welcome, Luis.
Um, hi, Luis, are you there, Luis Enrique? Maybe he's having problems with the microphone. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, very good. So yeah, you, yeah, very good, very good idea. So yeah. Um, hello, hello, oh, can you hear me? Yes, how are you, Luis? I'm fine, teacher. Sorry, I'm late. I just arrived at home. But no, that's okay. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, good, yeah. excellent. We're just talking uh, with the class uh, with the class about ways to improve your English. Okay, so you can you you can tell them your ideas using the preposition by and ah, okay. uh, using the gerund. Okay, so maybe you can share some of your ideas with okay in the meantime i'm okay. going to go to um to the other group and see if they have any if they need any help okay thank okay. you okay. you're welcome hi guys hi hello How are you? hello yeah that's interesting yeah but right now it's different i don't know if that happened to you yeah, yeah, but now it all is easier if you yeah. can learn different things. Yeah, I think it's easy, yeah. easier than before. Yeah. Hi, we have um, a new participant. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Luis. Hi, guys. How did it go? Pretty good, I think. I'm just uh, um, hearing you. You're talking about uh, a technology, right? Uh, well, we were um, saying some things that we um, that we can do so that we can improve our our English. But and uh, one thing that we were saying is that so uh, before there uh, wasn't so much technology as we have now, so because we were saying that for example now um, a way to one way to improve our english is by looking for the word that we don't know yet and you can so that you can know the meaning and practice it but before it was different because there wasn't so much technology uh, than than now yeah what do you think um what thing uh, do you uh, you think that we can do so that we can improve our English? Actually, now it is better to improve your skill about the English by uh, many many technologies like you said, uh, um, smartphones, Android, uh, something like that. And um, remember, um, before. If you wanna, if you wanna learn some something new, maybe you should go to the library or or something like that. We haven't uh, internet in this time. But but now is is. Too, it's too easy, really. Yeah, you have the information in, in your, your in your in your hand, right? You're you're right, you're right. In your hand <laughs> or in your TV, in some case. Um, I remember um when I was younger, so younger, when when I was child, really. In, in my when I was a little kid, uh, in in my case, uh, English is are bad to me because my 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 teacher I, I don't know, but but I I think um I to me is English uh, in, in this time, I said I don't like English because uh, my teacher don't 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 say anything about English. And to me, it, it in in this time it was 
it was complicated. Uh, but now I like it. Sorry, Luis, I don't want to um, discourage you from your from what you're saying there and, and your, your fluency. Just remember that a teacher is third for singular, so she would say doesn't or different, right? Okay. Can, sorry, can you repeat, please, teacher? I can't oh. hear you well. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, in the case of, uh, for example, the, um, the teacher, it's he or she, right? Third person singular. Therefore, you would say doesn't, not not don't. You don't say the teacher don't. You say the teacher doesn't. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Continue, guys, for like, I'm like, imagine I'm not here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Luis, what do you do in order to improve your English skills? Um, Sometimes I try to, I try to, to, to hear a, 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 a TV, a, a actually news. I, I watch TV, so. Uh -huh, I watch I watch TV in in English, news in English. I try to yeah. to write news in English too, or or, or but well, when in my word, uh, sometimes uh, I need real uh, some book in English, all in English. Okay. Um. Um. Some I always I read in, in English, and I learned some words. Okay. Um, I forgot some words too, but, but I tried to, to learn new words. Okay. So we have said by watching Me? TV, by listening, right? Yeah, uh, listening, listening news, listen, news in English. Oh, listening? L yeah, listening news. To news, okay. Uh -huh. That's great, I think. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but, but sometimes you... You, you can uh, oh, do stay with with some with, with some news because uh, some some people uh, talk so fast Okay, so guys, um, so we're back. I think the majority of you are back. Let me just make sure. Um, okay, so, um, all right, so, um, so guys, uh, any, any new ideas that your partners gave you that you hadn't thought about? Anything that you found interesting that your partners told you about? No? Really? Really? There's nothing? Nothing at all that you that your partners told you that you're like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Or something that they said that you hadn't that um, you have tried before. Sorry, teacher. Uh, what did you ask? Um, is there something you, like some ideas that your partners told you that you hadn't uh, that that you hadn't thought before of, or something that you they mentioned that you have tried and it has worked for you? Well, something that uh, looked. To me, very interested. Interesting, sorry, uh, was the the fact that we could um, listen to news, audio news. 
And I think it's, 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 it is a good idea because sometimes I, I always watch uh, movies or things like that. But if you listen to news, it's, it's good because you can learn a new vocabulary and so that you can improve your English skills also. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, and news is actually a very good idea. Um, I too hadn't thought about it, but yes, yeah, sometimes it's good. So you have to be careful what kind of news you're going to watch, right? Because, for example, there are some news um, news channels that are very um, it, that are very academic. Um, for example, if you're watching like um, uh, CNN or BBC, those kind of news uh, may be, they may have very, uh, very academic um, news and stories. And um, although it's good, it's good to practice, but it's, you've got to be careful, right? Because um, you don't want to, um, you don't want to get confused, right? So what you could do is if like, if it's, if you're watching like CNN or BBC, and you find that it's too difficult for you, what you can do is um, simply um, and, um, a, go to like YouTube, for example, and find other news, uh, news broadcasts, you know, that are probably more um, like American, more American, and uh, they tend to be not so, so academic. It's a little bit more, um almost every day yeah. speech right yeah so I, I i always wondered something um i i if what i was thinking about if when i when i um when i am able to understand um americans it doesn't mean that i'm going to be able to understand <laughs> uh, for example um Brit uh, British people, because they speak uh, weird, though I, I don't know, and sometimes I can't understand. <laughs> I don't know if weird is the correct word, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yes, uh, but um, definitely it's, it's going to be different, right? Um, so for example, um yeah it definitely american english um is definitely a lot more relaxed um so you might you might um, find it a bit easier in that sense and mostly because probably it's the accent that you're most used to but that doesn't mean that that the other one is not correct, right? No, in fact, I'll tell you a little secret. The majority of the world actually speaks more British English than American English. Did you know that? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So like if you're, I mean, yes, uh, the, the American English is very popular, you know, especially if you're talking about um, you know, for example, movies, you know, Hollywood and everything. It's very, very popular. But um, actually, the truth is that American English is actually not so popular around the world as, uh, or better said, not, not that it's not so popular, but it's not so used as much as it is with, um, with British English. And it's simply because the British English um, is the one that many countries use because many countries used to be part of the British Empire. Yeah, it is what we now called the Commonwealth, the, the Union of Commonwealth, uh, which are all those countries that before used to be a colony um, from, um, from, what's it called? Um, from Great Britain, and they became semi-independent, let's say, right? They still have uh, the queen, uh, the queen, queen Elizabeth as the queen, you know, of the Commonwealth, but, um, you know, they have their own prime minister. It's kind of the idea, yeah? So, um, 
and there are many, 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 many countries around the world. Uh, for example, Belize is a country that's part of the Commonwealth. Uh, Canada is part of the Commonwealth. Australia, New Zealand, blah, 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 blah. There's lots of lots of countries. So um, you will find that many people actually speak more like the British than the Americans. Um, except for Canada. Canada is more, it sounds more American English, but the spelling is very British, okay? So, um, and the only reason is because of the proximity of Canada um, to the, to the, um, the American border. That's just basically yeah, the reason why. Yeah, uh, but anyways, yeah, it's, it's, um, so the reason why I'm, I'm getting into this topic is simply because you've got to understand that, yes, there are other um, ways of speaking English around the world. And it's important that you are able to understand them all. Um, so yes, it may be a little bit of a challenge at first, but you do have to try to understand them. And so the, one of the best ways that I can suggest is um, simply like watching things in British English um, that may help a lot, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, but and, and some people actually they say I, I I really couldn't tell you if it's true or not because I didn't learn English. So, but some people say that understanding British English is easier because the British pronounce the syllables a little bit more precise than American English. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what some people say that some sometimes people feel it's easier to understand it because they are able to pronounce it more. It's like to give you an example, uh, Americans say water. Yeah. It sounds like it's W A R water or I don't know water W A R E R, I guess that's a, that would be, and um, but um, the British English will say water, right? So it's a yeah. little oh yeah okay W A T E R right? So it, that's probably it's some of the things that could be a bit different, right? Yeah, yeah, but not 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 a big thing, not a big thing. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So anyways, um, um, yeah, I I do encourage you guys if if, if possible. Um, to um, uh, to to try to watch news in, in different um, with different accents. It's it's very important that you get used to that. Especially, if, for example, if um, you have to deal with uh, different um, kind of clients in your workplace. I don't know if some some of you have people that you work with um, that are from the you know that are they speak English you might find that they are different accents right or if you want to travel that's also another reason that you would be um it'd be good for you to practice different different um um what's it called different accents yeah okay anyways guys um enough about that what we're going to do today we're going to start now with section number four uh, has everybody finished uh, the mid section three and the midterm? Yeah. Yes, teacher. We finished. Okay. Um, Carlos, you had a question, right? No, and and I see again the data for and. I had a mistake. I will grab the word, but right now I'm fine. I'm sorry for that. Oh no, but but do you still have that that question? No, no, no. I'm fine right now. Are you sure? Because I can help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah. No, 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 no. The problem was that I got back the word. Oh, okay. In that part of the platform. Just, so, just a word. Did you spell it incorrectly yeah, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that was my problem. Okay. okay, I understand. All right. Oh, thank uh, you. Okay. Okay. All right. 
All right, guys. So today we're going to actually learn a little bit about what we call the causative, the causative form. Okay. Um, so right now I'm going to show you the whiteboard. Tell me when you can see it. Yeah, we can see now. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right. So um, let's talk a little bit about, like I said, this is the called the causative form, okay? So what is the causative form? I'm actually gonna write here, I'm gonna tell you when we would use the causative form. So it says here, we use this form to talk about something that we ask somebody to do for us as a favor or because we will pay them to do it for it. Sorry, for us, not for us, for us, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it's sure. Okay, to give an example, how many of you cut your own hair? Nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some people. I'll tell you that much. Difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, but there are some people. Yes, there are. Some people. Um, there are there are some people that will do that. So I'm just asking. Um, so anybody does that? No. Okay. All right. So the majority of you. Uh, don't do it by yourself. The majority of you ask somebody to do it for you as a favor. For example, maybe your friend knows, uh, your friend is a barber, knows how to cut hair, or maybe um, somebody in your house knows how to, um, to cut hair. So you say, oh, you know, will you cut my hair for me, right? So you can ask them as a favor or you go to a barber, right? Or to a hairstylist and you ask them to cut it for you and you pay for them to do it, right? Sometimes you pay them a little bit more than, than you would other people, right? Um, you know, so I've heard there are cuts that are like, you know, immense cuts that like are like $20, you know, so, <laughs> you know, I, it, it really depends, right? But the important thing here is that you ask somebody to do it for you. So in other words, somebody is doing that, that, um, that action for you. You don't do it yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Um, all right, so. Um, Okay, so basically the causative form has two, two ways that we can do it, okay? Um, so we can either use an active voice. So it can either be active or what's the, what's the opposite of active? What's the opposite of active? 
passive. Exactly, passive. Okay, so it can either be active or passive. Okay. Um, now, how do you do the um, active? Well, basically for the active, there are two um, ways that you can do it. You can either use the subject. Let me change the color. You can do the subject plus a somebody, the someone or someone plus base form a verb. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, for example, okay, uh, hold on subject. Oh, no, no, sorry guys, I made a mistake. I'm, I have forgot a very important part here. We use the word have. So we have subject plus have plus a, the someone plus the base form of the verb. That's the structure that we're going to be using. Okay. So that's one way we can do it. Another way that we can do it is by using another verb. And it's the verb get. But, so I'm gonna, so we have the subject. Subject plus get plus object Oh no sorry let me see not subject it's uh somebody or someone plus the infinitive So that's the other structure. Oh, sorry, it's not some bone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's somebody or someone. I'm so sorry. Let me try that again. Okay, there you go. Subject plus get plus someone plus infinite verb. Okay. So that's, that's how we do with the active, all right? Now, with the passive, the structure we can have with the passive is this. In this case, uh, we can either use have or get. Let's start with the subject first. The object. Nope. Plus past participle. Plus at or by.
That's the summary. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit wider. Okay, here we go. And this actually, this part right here is optional. So it's not something you absolutely need to, to write. So, um, I'm going to here. that's what the passive. So in this one, now, if you notice, I put have or get in the, um, I put it in the in capital letters because have or get can vary different forms of, like you can use it in the simple present or the simple past or, the present progressive or the past progressive or the present um, perfect or the past perfect or the future progressive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't really matter. Um, that's why I put have or get in, in capital letters to show you that it's any form of these verbs, okay? Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Um, example, I'm going to stop sharing. You can take a picture if you want. Okay. Okay, all right, so I'm going to stop sharing right now. And I'm going to show you what this looks like, like the actual, some actual sentences. All right, so here we go. Tell me where you can see this. We can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we can see. All right. Um, so we have here the subject, right? Like I showed you before, this is the in the active causative. We have the subject. We have the causative verb. The causative verb in this case, we're going to be using have. We used had in the simple past, but it doesn't have to be had. It can be, uh, for example, it could be had has or is having, okay, so any form. So for example, Susan had her brother do her homework. So notice we have the subject plus a causative verb, in this case it's have, and then the somebody here, we're gonna call it the agent, it's the same thing. And then we have um, the action, okay, the action is, is um, the verb in the base form. And then we have the object, what it is we're doing. So in this one says, Susan had her brother do her homework. The police had the subject stop his car. We had the, car the carpenter fix our window. Okay. So like I said, these are some examples here. But as I told you before, we can use any form of have doesn't have to be um, had, okay? To and what would be the, the translation, teacher? Huh? What would be the translation for that? Oh, okay, just give me a second. I'm first going to write this. If I, if I wanted to can say, for example, I'm going to put have in the present progressive, I can say is having instead of had. So I could say, uh, Susan is having her brother do her homework. Um, or here, we can make this future. I'm gonna make this one future. Um, I 
uh, is going to have. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be using the future, the future we're going to. So we said the, the police is going to have the suspect stop his car. Right, so that's in the future. Or we can change um, this one and make it into the present. Uh, the present. Uh, with, or we can say, for example, uh, or let's use the present progress, the present perfect. So we can say, we, um, let's say we have had, we've had the carpenter fix the window. Okay, so basically we can use any form of have, okay? Uh, that's why I was I was putting have in capital letters because in form is possible. Now you asked about what's the translation. Well, let me tell you something. Don't commit, don't don't make the the the, the mistake of translating it like literally. Because if you translate it literally, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Okay, it doesn't make sense. And if I say to you, Susana um, tuvo su hermano hace, uh, hacer su tarea. That doesn't make sense at all, right? So please, that's why translating doesn't work when you are talking about grammatical structures. So basically the idea here would be more like um, uh, Susan le pidió a su hermano quisiera su tarea. Okay. Yeah. That, that's what and, I and, and both both mean the same. Had and is having. No, no, because okay. in this case, had is a simple past, so that means that it happened in the past. In that case, it would be Susan tuvo. Oh, sorry. In the word better said, Susan le pidió a su hermano quisiera okay. que le, le hiciera su tarea. Okay. This one is Susan le, ha, le está pidiendo a su hermano que, que le haga la tarea. So I could say something like Susan has her brother do her homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the simple present. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I have, a, I have a question, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I can see that Susan had her brother do her homework. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about Susan, um, we are still talking about Susan? Yes. When we're talking about her homework, we're talking about Susan's homework. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So so we're, we're always asked, we're, so in this case, uh, her brother did the, the homework for Susan, maybe okay. because he was trying to be nice and do her a favor, okay. or maybe because she paid him. Okay. Okay. So, so, you know, sometimes it happens. The yeah. same thing here. The police is going to have the suspect stop his car. Um, in this case, there, the police is, is going to ask the suspect to stop his car. Yeah, does that make sense? So is you going to say, la policía le pidió al, le pidió al, suje, al sospechoso que... Para su que parar su carro, o la policía le va a pedir al sospechoso que pare su carro. And, And here would be the other way. It says, okay. uh, We had the carpenter fix our windows. Nosotros le pedimos al carpintero que arreglara nuestra ventana, o, or in this case, have had. Nosotros hemos, le hemos pedido al carpintero que, um, que arregle nuestra ventana. Okay. And okay. we are not going to use um, infinitive after the agent, the agent. Right. We're going to use the base form. The base form, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's the important part here. Okay. So that's that's something very, very important. Um, let me just circle that. So in this case, right here, this, this verb is in the base form. There is no change to it. 
Okay. Sounds good, everybody. Everybody. So far, so good. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. In the same, uh, would it happen if I change um, having instead of getting or get the verb get? It would be the same. No, no, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Oh, okay. So that the, this is this is the first part. Uh, so let me erase this. Um, so, so we can either have subject plus have or has plus the object or the somebody plus the verb in the base form and then the object, right? The something, this is a something. So this is somebody and this is a something, okay? Or we can have this one, the second one, which is with get, the subject plus get plus the object, which is a somebody, plus the verb in the to infinitive. So notice that's the difference here. This is a, the verb in the base form, and this is the verb in the to infinitive. And then the object, which is a something. Okay, do you see the difference? Yeah. Okay, so basically same, almost same structure almost, except that this one is with have, and this is with get, and this is with the base form, and this is the, the base form with the infinitive. Okay, or the, or the infinitive verb. Okay, example, I got the mechanic to check my brakes. So notice we have the two in there. Okay, or I have the mechanic check my brakes. In this case, we're using have. So here there is no two. Okay, yeah. or look at this one. I, well, actually, mm, this one actually. Um, sorry. Okay. Actually, I'm going to um, explain this in the next one, in the next um, uh, slide. But does that make sense for you guys? Do you see how it's possible to use get with the to infinitive? Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> yes. Good. And finally, we can use the passive. The passive causative is using the subject with the causative verb. So in this case, you can choose have or get. It doesn't really matter. We can use different forms of have or get as we see here. Uh, has, had, is going to have, has, had, should have. It doesn't really matter. And then the object and the action verb in the past participle. This was is the, this is the structure here, the past participle. Okay, so example: she has her hair cut. Now, do you remember that I told you that it's possible to uh, use the word by? So in this case, we can say she has her hair cut by um, her mother. Okay. So here we have the by and then the subject, okay? okay? Or he had his car repaired at um, at the body shop or at the mechanics, at the mechanics. Okay. Um, so like I said, these are options, it's not necessary. He is going to have the lawn mowed. Um, you don't have to say anything over here, I'm just gonna leave it here. She has had her eyes tested um, at the eye doctor. Okay. Uh, she, you should have your house painted. Um, and then we could say by their company. Okay, so you, these are just some ideas of how you can use by or at. And in this one, I didn't use anything, right? So. 
Yeah. So you don't have to use it. It's just an option there. But basically here we have the subject. Then we have have or get. It doesn't really matter. Get is a little more informal, but you can use have to. And then we have the object. This is a thing that is receiving the, um, the favor or yeah, the service. And then we have the verb in the past participle. Cut, repaired, notes, tested, painted. Sounds good? Yes, I think. Yes, sounds good. Okay. All right. So tomorrow we're going to be practicing a little bit with this. And um, anything, any other questions that you guys have, we'll, we'll go ahead and answer those questions. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. That will be all for today. It's been a pleasure seeing you again. And um, all right. So I will I will see you until tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Take care. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.